Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a manual regen on this tractor. Um, I've done it every 50 hours. The thing never went into auto regen, so I've just did it at 50 hours. That's what I was seeing on the internet. A lot of people were doing it around 50 hours. And one, th one thing you'll notice is that you'll get the exhaust will get real stinky and once the exhaust gets real stinky if you put it into a manual regen it clears it right up this exhaust isn't stinking right now but this is going to be the third regen I do on this tractor and I just do it to avoid it you know when I got time I just put it in the regen so when the time comes and I'm doing work I don't want to stop for a regen so I've already I've already got this thing up to temperature kind of okay. see right here one thing you'll one thing you'll know is see I got it at idle I think it's at idle and where's my regen button oh there it is um, the bottom is uh, the bottom is to avoid the regen when you're out working or whatever, or if you if you're not in a safe place. But if you push the top for three seconds, they'll put it into a manual regen. So we're at zero. So I'm gonna push it one, two, three. Oh, wait a minute. Gotta have the parking brake on for manual regen. Forgot about that. Gotta have the parking brake on. One, two, three. Okay, so I didn't touch the throttle. It automatically does what it should. Right here. So right now Start to regen. I don't know what time it is. I think it's. I'll have to check. But usually it only takes about 15 minutes. This one may even take 10. And one thing that when you're doing any kind of work, like I've been doing a lot of loader work, is I've been taking the cantails out of the bottom. You keep that you keep that above 2,000 doing work, and it'll prolong your regen. But like I said, I do it every 50 hours. This is going to be a third regen, so I'm at 157. I've had this thing for a little over a year and a half. You know, I did the driveway with it. I did a lot of rototilling in the back. I mean, I use this thing for everything. So. We're going to let this thing run. It should but take 15 minutes or so. But I think it's still going to have to get up to temperature. Usually, that regen light right there will be another one next to it. So when it gets up to temperature. So let me let this go for a minute. So if you look, I don't know, it's been running for, eh, I don't know, three minutes, and my other light came on. That means it's up to temperature, and it's, and it's doing the regen. So I'm roughly four minutes in, five, four to five minutes into it. right on the loader because it gets extremely hot. Yeah, we're still running. About 10 minutes in or so. But, you know, doing a region, you know, a lot 
lot of people think, you know, this thought process of, yeah, the old tractor doesn't regen, but after this thing regens, you don't smell one little bit of diesel out of this thing. And, I don't know, I've heard on the internet people complaining they've had problems with regen. It's just like, just manually regen the thing. There's, there's, there's nothing to be scared of. Uh, I don't know, there's a lot of opinions out there. Although, this is my first tractor, though. I don't know any different besides, you know, my experiences with my neighbor's tractor and so on. But, I mean, I have no complaints about this tractor at all. I mean, this thing has done everything I've asked it to do. Plus more, really surprised. And when I bought this tractor, the thought process was, I'm not gonna own another one. I'm buying one and that's it, I'm done. If anything, I would upgrade to like a 55 horsepower. It comes on the same frame. So, if it comes on the same frame, and it's the same layout, if you're gonna buy one, if you're gonna buy the 40, you might as well get the 55. Spend the extra money. I don't have a problem with this. This 40 horse, I mean, it does more than anything I could ask for. But, I think if I was to do it over again, I would get the same tractor, same frame, with the bigger horsepower engine. But actually, it has the same engine, and the only thing that's different is the computer programming in it. Okay, about 20 minutes in. I didn't realize it needed it that bad, but it lasted about 20 minutes. And I didn't do anything. Throttle's where it's at. It does everything computer controlled. It's all automatic. So I'm done with the regen. I'll put another 50 hours on it. That's it. Just keep on regening it every time. I just wanted to show you that. There's not too much on the internet with uh, manual regen, especially for LS tractors. So I'll see you on the next one.